Hi guys and welcome to another video from Wildlife Impulse. Today we're gonna look at some weird wildlife that you probably never heard of. So let's get started with my list of weird animals, uh, carnivore edition. So on number 10 we have the marbled polecat. Uh, as you can see they have very large and noticeable ears. And they actually have a very weaker eyesight and rely on a well developed sense of smell. The marble pol polecat can be found between southeastern Europe and western China on dry areas and grasslands. Though so they're on the red list of the IUCN uh, indicated as vulnerable. On number 9 we have the Sunda stink badger. Um, despite its name, it's actually not related to the badgers at all. It's more related to skunks. And actually there's not a lot of pictures from it and they're kind of thought to live in ca caves and stuff. But what I could find is that they, like skunks too, they spray fluids uh, when they're treated. And they actually figured out that this fluid is caused blindness in to dogs. The, the Sunda stink badger is living around Malaysia together with other uh, species of the stink badgers. Uh, on number 8 we have the spotted fanaluka. The spotted fanaluka is a nocturnal species endemic to the tropic forest of Madagascar and what's special about this species is that it actually can store fat in its tail so before the cold dry season in Madagascar uh, they can store up to 25% of their normal body mass in fat in their tails. Also they get one young at a time and actually after three days the young is already able to walk around and just follow the parents. Good, then we get to number seven, that's my favorite one, is the palace cat. The palace cat is from the genus Otocolobus, which in Greek means actually ugly eared, which I don't really think it's that ugly the ears. Um, actually the palace cat they're known for the longest and densest fur of any species of the cat family so that's quite impressive and they live in the, the steppes of, of Asia where it can get really cold so it's quite useful and they're actually near threatened if you're interested I will put up a link here above somewhere to uh, my video where I was looking for palace cats in Mongolia. I'll also put it down in the description though. So no worries, check it out if you feel like it. And let's get to number seven. Number seven is the kinkachu. It's actually on the cover of this book of the mammals of central and southeast Mexico. And it looks a bit like a monkey, but it's not. It's closely related to the uh, raccoons and the coatis. Another name for the kinkachu is a honey bear. Obviously they look a bit like a bear with short ears and big nails and they like to eat some honey once in a while from bee na nests. But most of the time they just eat fruits and they're actually quite important seed dispersers in uh, the tropical rainforest. They live in trees in Central and Southern America. On number five we have the bush dogs. It's very short, like a long dog with short legs and it's running around in the forests of Southern America and they're actually mostly found near water and they also have like partially webbed feet so they're actually good swimmers and they can stay underwater for like 30 seconds and what cra what's crazy about these bush dogs is that they live in packs of 2 to 12 individuals and they, they take home prey such as the akuti and, and pagas which are kind of similar size as the bush dog but then they're also known to take on like capybaras, like the largest rodent on, on earth. And also there is a record of bush dogs attacking the South American tapir, like this large, large mammal, which is very, very weird. They have actually a variety of cooperative hunt strategies to take down this larger prey. So. I don't want to mess with these little dogs though. They're mostly found in Brazil. All right, on number four, we have the Cusimans. I'm not sure how to pronounce it, but it's a weird looking creature with a long nose uh, living in, in Africa. They're also very social and they live up in, in groups up to 20 together, wandering around the forest floor. 
and they have a lot of different noises that they can make because actually when they're traveling around in dense forest they can't see each other so they need to communicate or they need to know where everybody is by by making a lot of sounds and they're actually found in West Africa from Ghana Ivory Coast Benin Liberia and Sierra Leone good then on number three we have the Leighton's Oyan or West African design it's a kind of weird looking cat looking species that actually lives in the in the canopy like in the trees furthermore there is not a lot known about the species actually on the picture you probably see the central african lisang because on the west african lisang they're only known for a dozen of museum specimens and the most recent records are actually two skins they found in liberia in 1988 that's a long time ago but still, they kind of look very interesting to me. Now we get closer. On number two, we have the raccoon dog. Raccoon dog, it's definitely not a raccoon, and it's it's part of the, the dog or the canid family. And if you take the the Latin name, it comes from Greek, and it means actually night wanderer and like early dog. So it's, it's part of the dog family, but it's mostly related um, to the foxes. The raccoon dogs are mostly found around water, water areas. In places with a harsh winter, raccoon dogs go into some kind of hibernation. It's the only member of the canid family that do so. The raccoon dogs are originally from Japan and other parts of Asia, but because they have a nice fur, they also introduced or escaped in a lot of different areas in across Europe so we have some populations in Europe as well then we get to my all-time favorite weird animal and uh, the pinturong or the bear cat it looks it has a bit of a face of a cat the body of a bear and the tail of a monkey but it's not related to any of these kind of animals it lives in the canopies and is actually kind of a slower animal that mostly feeds on uh, fruits and seeds and stuff. It's, it's taking uh, insects and small mammals. To humans, the binturong smells a bit like buttered popcorn. But to other binturongs, this just means that this area is occupied and they should just move on. They're kind of slow moving animals, but very important in the in the rainforest ecosystem. All right, I hope you like this top 10 of weird animals or carnivores. And if you already knew any of these species, just let me know down in the comments. And um, I'll see you in my next video about, I don't know what yet, but it will be something wildlife related. So if that's something that you're into, consider subscribing and like and comment as usual and see you next time.